Yo, yo, it's your boy Crypto Blood. What's going on with you people today? Today, I didn't really have much that I saw as as far as articles I wanted to talk to talk about um, in the crypto community. So today, I'm kind of going off the beaten path, and you know, my whole philosophy is we all and I, I do this too. I, I I listen and I subscribe to many of the same people, so. I don't want to hear the same articles uh, or the same uh, articles being um, talked about or, you know, getting getting a viewpoint from five different people that I subscribe to on the same topic. So I try to keep it off the beaten path with with the stuff that I talk about really didn't see anything directly uh crypto related so i but i did find an article that um i actually saw yesterday and i and i bookmarked it and said hey i should uh should talk about this here article this article comes out of zero hedge ladies and gentlemen zero hedge i love zero hedge been been a follower of zero hedge for at least six seven years about six yeah about seven years almost seven years man time flies i tell you but uh, the the article out of Zero Hedge, as as you can see, if you're looking at your screen right now, it's uh, titled "Watch as Amazon Deletes Hundreds of One Star Reviews of Hillary Clinton's New Book." Can you believe that? I'm just sh so shocked. So, um, I guess Hillary has a new book out, and. I'm just going to read a couple paragraphs from this article. I thought that that, were, that, were, that was interesting. So, in what many have dubbed a flagrant intervention, intervention by um, Amazon itself to seemingly boost the rating of Hillary Clinton's new book, What Happened? The Telegraph first reported, and subsequently many others observed firsthand that Amazon has been monitoring and deleting one-star reviews of Hillary Clinton's new book. Uh, reviews of what happened have been mixed, uh, with some accusing Clinton of using it as an opportunity to blame others, such as former FBI head James Comey, Bernie Sanders, Vladimir Putin. You can't be kidding. You, Vladimir, really? I'm so shocked. Didn't, didn't know Russia had anything to do with this. And social media and very, pretty much everyone else, the article says. Uh, for her failure rather than herself uh, even the new york times which supported clinton's campaign wrote that the book is a score settling jubilee wow so um the article goes on to say while this is not the first time amazon has intervened to adjust the ratings um, of its products in november negative comments under a book by anti-Trump broadcaster um, Megyn Kelly appeared to be removed by the retailer. It has rarely adjusted reviews of such a prominent product so publicly. Interesting. So, um, as for those who find such intervention hard to believe, here is what Amazon's intervention looks like chronologically on Wednesday. So first, courtesy of Wayback Time Machine. I love that um, that website, by the way. Wayback Time Machine. Wayback Machine, I should say. I've used that uh, a few times. Um, so I'm going to scroll down so you guys can see this. So you may not be able to see fully what's going on here, but you'll see they did a screenshot at 1031. And that's pretty. That's her breakdown. She's got uh, 1,500 customer re reviews. 45% are five star. 1% four star. 3%. Uh, I'm sorry. Three. 1% uh, three star and 3% two stars. And then we have a whopping 50% uh, of the ratings were one star. Um, and then we go lower here, 255. We still have uh, pretty high. Um, 
one star ratings at 255 p.m. But as we head further down, 523, voila, like magic, 1% one, one star rating. Jeez, man. To be sure, uh, the article goes on to say, to be sure, one can calm their uh, claim there, neither one star nor the five star reviews are legitimate. And were merely a partisan effort seeking to amass an ex uh, either extremely negative or positive view of Clinton's book. However, Amazon's decision to engage in a wholesale deletion of what appears to be uniformly low ratings will likely raise at least a few eyebrows. So this just goes on to um, and uh, let me scroll down so you guys can see that part. You can see right there we've got less than just about one percent of the ratings were uh one star by 5 23 p.m interesting interesting so you know for me this is this is an illustration of manipulation um, by mainstream media and what in my opinion shows the um, the room, the the capabilities and possibilities that blockchain will bring uh, to the forefront for our for our society. Um, I envision a future where the main e-commerce and social media platforms we use are all uh, built on top of a blockchain where it's it's autonomous it's it's triple triple ledger it's uh fair and it's and it's transparent so we can eliminate 95 99 percent of the fraud and manipulation that we see thus far i was talking to uh one of the gentlemen in the web bot room his name is dmac uh well he goes by dmac i won't reveal his real name but uh, we're, we've got some things cooking right now as far as some um, breaking news and, and evidence of secondhand evidence um, from the shooting, the latest school shooting. Um, and I was talking to him about that, uh, kind of gathering intel on that. And hopefully I'll be able to, to break that news to you guys uh, sometime this week, hopefully. But I was talking to him about Steam it and he had, you know, he heard about it a little bit. And I'm just, you know, what I'm going to try to do is just really get more of the truther uh, slash alternative media to really start to use Steam it because it's a it's a great platform for all of us to uh, spread our um, our thoughts, our views um, and without without. Uh, without worrying about censorship and you know being demonetized and so on and so forth. I just want to really uh, promote the uh, usage of decentralized technologies um, and you know blockchain has really allowed that to to really be a reality now for us in the truther community and and just alt alt media uh, as a whole so I um I just want to get your feedback on that guys. Let me know what you guys think about um Amazon helping Hillary out. Hitlery, I should say, Hitlery Clinton out and and manipulating and uh defrauding the the community with with the uh with the likes. So um let me know if you think blockchain will be able to really change that um, and shift that paradigm and take away the power from the central banks and governments uh, you know take the power away from them uh, from doing those types of things in the future at least a large sum a large percentage uh, there will probably always be fraud in one form or, or another uh, but uh, blockchain technology can really really change that so 
let me know let me know what you guys think and um you know hit me up on instagram twitter and um steam it i also just reactivated my facebook account it had been dormant for a long long time i think i created it back in 2013 or 12 but i got that back up and running uh dmac wanted me to join a fairly large truther group that he's uh, a co-founder of they've got over 13,000 members in the group uh, so we're going to be doing it as i stated before at the beginning we're going to be doing some things together and uh, uh pretty exciting uh woo -woo coming up with uh with me and d mac so i'll keep you guys posted on that also to my left you're right we have a live stream of the web bot room so come check us out in there this is the crypto web bot room we got aaron t simon matt nigel robert sid man shout out to all of you guys thank you for participating and keeping the conversations always interesting and uh make sure you guys join i'll put the link to the general web bot room uh in the description of this video and from there you'll be able to access the gold uh, precious metals room and the crypto room all right i think uh i would say that's about it ladies and gentlemen it's your boy crypto blood i am out holla